Today, we are pressed with a reoccurring issue that seems to haunt the current generation. The issue of who decides to choose the next leader of our great nation. Some argue children should be allowed to vote once they enter high school. However, this statement is unethical and unrealistic. We cannot expect students from the ages of 14 to decide who the main power in this great country is. Children at this age are not interested enough in politics and may do not even know how the government system works. They are too young to be able to form reasonable opinions on important issues, and many would take advantage of young voters in order to gain votes. The community of adults are educated and mature enough to make political decisions. Children age 14 should not be trusted to vote because many are uninterested in the topic. Students entering high school are barely educated on political spectrum and the government party. From personal experience, I was unaware of the political parties until first semester of grade 10. Not only do they know, not know about the pol politics, but many are not, shit, un, not inter interested in the subject at all. A study was conducted on, on students aged 18 to 24, stated that 65% of all students were interested in voting. Considering that 26 to 30 year olds were, was 84%, we can conclude a decrease in age would mean a decrease in interest. Why would we trust kids who are not even interested in voting to vote? Lastly, the teenage brain is not yet fully mature, making it hard for them to grasp the party's concept. For example, NDP looks to cut taxes in order for working class Canadians to retain more of their salaries. This, should not, this does not apply to 14 year olds because most of them are too young to work. We as Canadians need to step up, make the right decisions for, for the kids, not the other way around. Adults can use reason to make their political decisions because they have matured since their youth and understand what Canada needs in order to remain a great nation. Students are not subjected to the use of these type reasons. Firstly, students at this age are not mature enough. A study shows how most kids age 14 act child is rebellious, angry, sarcastic, and really does not seem to quite care. The record.com. This shows how kids at this age do not care enough to use reason when conveying their opinion. Secondly, Children are known to have conclusions to their decision. I fear many of the kids voting will, will vote for no reason, which is alarming in the eyes of me as well as the individuals. I believe many of you are shocked at this statement as well. While many students say they are responsible enough to make a decision, it is hard to trust someone who last year was living in a child atmosphere. Our society is run by the adults because they keep structure in order. And they learned and matured at age 18, as children will in the next four years. Furthermore, high school students cannot be trusted to make own opinions based on logic, and why adults should continue to decide the leader of this country. The next generations of voters are constantly pressured by older generations to pursue goals or to certain, think a certain way, which is why they cannot be trusted to vote. Peer pressure is a huge issue, fa a issue facing students in their schools. Can you imagine the heat they would get from adults who have a certain opinion on a political party? Teachers could force kids to vote for the liberals in order for them to keep their union. This would result in extreme controversy between the other parties. Also, many students may be tempted by parties' guarantees and perks. For example, when Harper proposed the idea for Family Day, many adults were quick to vote for him because of his smart worth ethic and the idea of not going to work. However, this is not a main reason for, to vote for someone. It would persuade children to vote for him in order for them to get a day off school. Furthermore, students are at risk of peer pressure from teachers and other adults in order for them to make a decision on who should be in power. They are at risk of being persuaded by perks and do not focus on the main issues. We have to ask ourselves if it's worth to trust these kids at such a young age. In conclusion, a society is built by the next generation and run by the present generation. Students at the age of 14 should not be given the option to vote because children at this age are not interested enough in the polit politics and many do not even know what the government system works. They are too young to be able to form reasonable opinions on important issues and many would take advantage of young voters in order to gain votes. In order for our communities to continue running smoothly, we must continue to follow the system we are using, which has kept society together for many generations. We all get our time to vote. It is important we are educated and informed on global issues before we can make these decisions.